Hello and uh, welcome to the tutorial that uh, will explain to you how to make TP-Link WN821N Wi-Fi USB dongle work in Linux. Uh, actually it works but uh, the connection drops uh, every one or two minutes and then you have to unplug it and plug it again. So uh, uh, we are going to use uh, the tool called Windows wireless drivers or uh, NDIS wrapper uh, it's already installed in Linux Mint um, and uh, of course it's installable in uh, Ubuntu or um, Debian if it's not I uh, will put a great link in the description of this video where you can uh, uh, compile uh, from source but First, uh, we will need to <coughs> download Windows driver, yeah, Windows. Uh, so, uh, uh, just Google uh, download TP-Link WN uh, driver and uh, you need to pay attention that there are uh, four different versions of this model, uh, mine is uh, two. Uh, it's uh, usually you can find the number on the back of the dongle so this you have to download the latest driver so after you downloaded and extracted the folder um, open the NDIS wrapper tool and uh, you see it's already installed but um, usually you just click on install new driver and browse to um, the directory where you downloaded it for example uh, file system home uh, desktop yeah uh, driver files uh, and you need to use a uh, Windows XP driver for my system it's a uh, 64-bit okay so you choose the INF file and click open and then uh, the driver will appear here and you will see hardware present yes uh, so Uh, but uh, it's only part of the deal uh, now we will have to prevent uh, two uh, Linux drivers from uh, loading at startup uh, so we will use the terminal and uh, of course I have to be root and uh, I will change directory to etc slash modprop.d hit ls and uh, you see I already created two files one is called blacklist minus ar 9170.conf and the contents of its file it's the same as its name just to make it easy and the second one is uh, blacklist minus c a r l uh, 9170.conf and the same the contents are the same as its name and um, just uh, for example uh, you, you can use your uh, editor like nano or vi for example this is the first file uh, yeah, the contents uh, is the same but without .conf so you'll save the file uh, save the second file and now so the last thing uh, 
I will have to do is to make sure that NDIS wrapper model is um, loaded every startup and for this I will add NDIS wrapper to the models file in the etc directory so uh, I will use nano my favorite text editor nano slash etc models and here inside the file I just have to add NDIS wrapper and hit Ctrl X to save so uh, now uh, I just have to restart my computer and enjoy uh, Wi-Fi uh, without uh, drops and uh, be happy thank you for watching